recorded now. Good morning. I can see some folks are here and uh, probably eager to ask questions. We have some brief information to present first. Um, welcome to our uh, office hour. They're continuing into uh, this time when districts have an opportunity to liquidate the funds. The funds must already have been obligated, as, as you know. But this is our monthly office hour, and I'm Karen Kuziak. And the members of our team who are still remaining working on the um, mm -hmm. SR funds are um, Kevin. And I am Maisha. Kevin Harrington. Go ahead. And Maisha. Yeah, I'm Maisha Asha, Fiscal Coordinator for ESR Grant. And Didi. Deanna Roberge, Management Analyst. And One Terry is not here this morning, I, I don't think, but she's yes certainly working on uh, reviewing invoices. Mm -hmm. And so things that we have for today to talk about from our end are the invoicing process, uh, the length of time it's going to be taking or typically will take for invoices to be reviewed and for you to receive notification. We're going to discuss the need for additional documentation now that we're into this period that's beyond the uh, obligation for the grant and just some general reminders. Oh, sorry. That's me. So as I'm, I'm, I, my job primarily is management analyst. So I'm like invoice, invoice, invoice. We want to see those come in. Um, so here's some, some dates set aside here. September 30th, 2024 was the end of the performance period for evidence-based literacy grant, ARPS or funding. ARP HCY1 and HCY2. Um, invoice, invoicing must be closed out by Maine DOE and SAUs by December 30th, 2024. So please, please submit invoices as early as possible, preferably by early December for proper processing of these invoices. And after December 30th, 2024, these funds will no longer be accessible. So your invoicing timeline, um, as we've presented several times um, back and forth, nice reminder here, um, seven to 10 business days for the um, Office of um, Emergency Response Federal Funding Initial um, Invoice Review, seven to 25 days for DAFs to process invoice payment, and three to 10 business days for reimbursement checks to be mailed if it's going in a check form. So total of this process could be 17 to 45 business days from invoice submission to reimbursement um, end of the uh, funding for the check receipt. Okay, so uh, in this uh, slide, we will discuss some additional uh, documentation that are needed if um, you are going to request some reimbursement for the expenses that were obligated by the deadline, 930th, but you have not paid uh, by that de deadline. So copy of contracts or copy of purchase orders are needed um, to provide with your reimbursement request as supporting documentation, additional supporting documentation. If you order any, uh, any goods and services prior to September 30th and is paying the vendors after September 30th. And this is just, this is to show us that you made the obligation prior to that debt. So here is some, one um, of the friendly reminder that federal fiscal office hour, like for all federal uh, um, teams, like ESA team, ESCA team, our IDA, Parkins, and Office of Child Nutrition, they all um, um, uh, have fiscal uh, office hour, uh, which occurs uh, on fourth Thursday of every month to focus on fiscal matters like invoicing, time to afford, time and effort, and policies, procedures, etc. And here is the link. I will uh, post that link. In, in the chat in a bit. 
just there. So here is the link for that meeting, which occurs uh, every fourth Thursday in I mean of each month. So um, we, we we would like to see you there. Okay, and here are some resources that uh, we always share with you for ESER and INS. And you will find us online in this, um, using these handles uh, for the social media. So that was about um, our, you know, very small presentation for this month of October. Now we would like to uh, uh, open the door for the questions. If you have any question, please, yeah, you can, uh, you may put it in the chat or you can just, uh, you know, mute you, unmute yourself and say it. So I stopped my sharing my screen. You folks have questions or are you mostly checking to make sure you weren't missing anything? I just stopped in to make sure I wasn't missing anything, Karen. Okay, mm -hmm. that's and, and I was having breakfast and feeling a little lonely, truth be told. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're having breakfast. <laughs> we are still having the, uh, what is it? Is it Tuesday morning at 9 we also come together, those of us who are from DOE wow. on this team. Uh, that that was uh, till October 1st. Yeah. Oh, that was only till October 1st. Okay, yes. for, for questions about invoicing, sorry. Um, okay, well, we offered that. But we're, yeah, but we're still yeah. working. We're, we're still, the grant mm -hmm. is still in its liquidation stage. So we're still here. Certainly the invoice reviewers are reviewing things. Um, I cannot permit substantive changes to the, any of the applications at this time because the, the date of obligation is over and the way we demonstrate that we as a state are holding you to that obligation date is through our GEM application. But uh, we're certainly here for, you know, if you have questions about, um, you know, what stage you are with the invoicing, we're, we're certainly here. And sometimes our invoice re review team will suggest minor, minor edits so that we can fulfill the invoices. We, we want you, the state wants you, the DOE wants you to use this money. Yep. Yeah. Things jump around on the screen. I can't tell if more people have entered or people have left. Hi, this is Wendy Betts. Hi. Hey, Wendy. I just, I'm just stopping in because, you know, I, I have to attend a meeting when there is one. And um, <laughs> I just like to see what's going on and, and hear about what other people are concerned about so I can keep the many schools that I work with informed. So I'm just here kind of lurking. I don't have any specific topics mm -hmm. that need to be addressed. And, and as always, just want to thank you for your efforts. Um, I'm not really sure how we all survived this process, but I'm sure it was <laughs> in a large part because of your support. So thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I hope the just I hope the districts. I mean, we all live in a district, and I I'm on my own school board, and we appreciate the money, and but we know how much work it was on certain individuals to to make mm -hmm. it all happen, both in the district, but it, in in DOE, but mostly out in the district. And I think you've probably heard this from other other people that we're very grateful to have the funds and we're looking forward to having it over with at the same time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, think, I think we feel that way too. <laughs> Karen in Deer Isle, a quick question. And it's come, you know, in speaking with other districts, we've all kind of had the same question. And it's regarding salaries that were obligated 
how long can you pay someone's salary? Does it end on September 30th or yes. if you, you know, we just, I just don't understand how salaries work with obligation. Right. Salaries definitely. And, it, and it's spelled right out in the federal regulations about how grants can be used. Salaries could only be paid through September 30th. Now people have asked the question, but our payroll is, let's say it's October, whatever the coming up Friday is. Um, you can pay for the Monday, even though you, you can you can pay that person for the Monday, even though you don't pay it out until later in October. But only for that Monday, not you know because the thirtieth was a Monday. That's why I say that. Thank you. That that's what we were thinking. That you know it has to be work performed um, yes. by September thirtieth. So thank you for clarifying that. That's super helpful. That's that's good. I was hoping that was your understanding. <laughs> it would be hard to see, hard to receive that information if that wasn't your understanding. But if someone else in your office is saying, "Oh no," <laughs> you can say, "No, I was right." Mm -hmm. Through September thirtieth. Yeah. Well, we're we're happy to know that that was that's what we were planning on. So we're glad that we weren't hoping for other things. So this is kind of where we were going. So yeah, we'll make sure that um, all salaries have stopped payment as of September 30th will be their last day of pay. Some salary people, they'll have to split it, I guess. So sure. Okay. I'll write it. Um, okay. Dini or Maisha, is there, is there anything in particular you look for when you're reviewing um invoices for that salary piece, particularly if it's a payroll that goes into October? Yes, I mean, we always check like when um, the dates, dates are, and it's all there in the, the trial balance. So no, uh, there, there are two days like, you know, the work that perform, I mean, like this is for the September date, right? Like the trial balance for the September, so it has all those, and maybe some of those are accrual from the September that will be paid to the October. So you, you will submit the October trial balance, but we can see and find that this portion of the work was actually done in September. So we always check that. I saw Kathy Harris Smedberg jump in and then jump out from Bangor. I was going to ask if she had a question too. Maybe she'll be back. It might have been technical problems. Can I ask one more, uh, just clarifying on those salaries? You said thank you very much. This is Tiffany again. Um, yep. So the way our warrant process goes for our, uh, our salary people, it would split our warrant. Um, because I'm just looking at the dates. <clears throat> it's tiny, I have to stand up. Um, so it looks like we have a week that would still be counted in September, and we are using the funds to help pay technology. Um, so how would we do that on a October trial balance? Do I just make a note, this is for one week in September, and write it on the trial balance, or what What do you need there? Uh, so, I mean you can present it in different ways. Like, I mean, you can submit the October trial balance and, you know, highlight the, you know, expenses that you are including in the uh, invoice. And that is just uh, the portion that is done by, you know, for the, from the, just from the September. So you can okay. do that. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. I'll just make an, I'll just make a note that, that I'm acknowledging that this is just, these are September expenses for salaries. Thank you yeah. very much. Um, we don't have details yet, but there will be a year, must be year five now, performance report. So, you know, before your superintendents or business managers say, oh, Q, we're done with ESSER, uh, there will be reporting on, you know, this year's activities. So keep that in mind and on your planning schedule, we'll certainly alert folks. We don't anticipate any different questions this year. I think I saw that in print coming from the U.S. Department of Ed, but I do anticipate they'll ask those same detailed questions like what kinds of students were served and 
especially in those reservation for the reservation projects. So keep your records. What do you think, Maisha? Should we hold the Zoom open for a few more minutes, or? Uh, yeah, I will just uh, stop the.